Today we will consider the thermodynamic method for calculating the solvation energy, which is used to quantify the theory of bond solvation. When a crystal is dissolved in a liquid solvent, the bonds between the particles must first be broken. That is, a change in energy will occur due to the destruction of the ionic lattice of the crystal. Further, there is the solvation of ions in a solvent or hydration in the case of aqueous solution. First, we calculate the energy of the crystal lattice. The characteristic of ionic compounds is the enthalpy of the crystal lattice, which is also called the energy of the crystal lattice. Lattice enthalpies cannot be directly determined by experiment. However, they can be calculated from experimentally determined enthalpies using the Hess law. Consider the crystal lattice of sodium chloride. The formation of this lattice can be represented as a process consisting of five stages. The final reaction will be as follows. An alternative way is divided into five stages one of which is a formation of a crystal lattice from its constituent ions in their gaseous state. In this case, the first process will be atomization or sublimation of sodium. The next process is the ionization of gaseous sodium. The corresponding change in enthalpy is equal to the first sodium ionization energy. Ionization energy is the amount of energy that must be spent to tear an electron from an atom and remove it from the sphere of influence of a positively charged nucleus. In this case, it will be equal. The third stage is the atomization of chlorine. The chlorine atomization enthalpy is equal to half of the dissociation of the chlorine chlorine bond and thus amounts to. The next stage is the ionization of chlorine. Its enthalpy corresponds to the first energy of affinity for the electron of chlorine. That is, the amount of energy released when the atom joins the electron, which is equal to The fifth stage is the formation of an ionic lattice from its constituent ions in their gaseous state. The enthalpy of this reaction is the desired standard molar enthalpy of the lattice of sodium chloride. To calculate its value, we use the Hess law, according to which Substituting the indicated values into this equality, we find the energy of the crystal lattice of sodium chloride, which is This information can also be represented in graphical form on an enthalpy diagram called the Born-Haber cycle. Firstly, if sodium chloride is dissolved in water, then this process will be accompanied by a small resulting adsorption of energy since the process is endothermic. The enthalpy of this process is the thermal effect of salt dissolution extrapolated to an infinitely dilute salt solution. The destruction of the crystallitis is a process opposite to its formation, that is, it will be equal in magnitude and opposite in sign to the change in energy that accompanies the formation of the lattice.
The value of solvation energy cannot be determined experimentally, but it can be found using the Hess law. In this case, If you still have questions about this material, you can ask them in the comments.